Back to Ajar. Which proves that Raja Raja died here. So I decided to travel to this temple and take a look at this pillar myself. As soon as I reached the temple, I immediately spotted Listen very the carefully if you're a the Christian or if you believe in God. Raja Raja. So it is obviously related to Roger Roger, is anybody out there? No one can hear him. So his name is Roger Roger, but it's really his so name is Ajar. Now listen. On a notepad, I contacted an epigraphist who was able to tell me exactly what was written. Well, the answers are written on the walls. I the entire inscription and its translation on my website, phenomenalplace.com, and you can take a look at it if you're interested. I double-checked this information with another expert as well. What the inscription says is that the royal palace of Raja Raja Chola was renovated by four people. The inscription huh, includes four people. those four names, and that is all the information. What are the names? What if it's Jesus has no and uh, to Peter, John, and James the four? At all. This mm, shows that the they always... of the lingam is probably you can see, it's a black Raja and it's Raja's bolted Raja's down. And there's no actual evidence. Trust me, and that has been there for a long time. It's, it's weird how it has a bolt. Raja Raja. How did he die? Where did his funeral take place? Think a moment. There are hundreds of inscriptions about Raja Raja's accomplishments. How mm. you see, like they're all snakes. Various <laughs> territories. How he built the great temple. And even when he was born. But there is no information whatsoever about when or how he died, where he was buried, or cremated. So I decided to go back to Tanjabur to find out more about his death. I contacted several archaeologists, and they told me that the only the temple is the body, why guys. A hello, king's hello. Death would not be reported is if the, the golden lampstand. So if Golden Lampstand, he was going to be the Messiah until the, the devil deceived the him. Ancient tunnels would not record that. Then I spoke to a lot of locals in Tanjavur to see if anyone knew how he died. Where everyone gets the tested for the Messiah. Different, but Don't let the time pass you by. It turns out that Raja Raja was actually murdered by a woman from Sri Lanka. Let's uh. hear what this gentleman says. This is true. Raja successor on the Payan landing land, and Angulan the Lirgon. Upon in the year 993 AD, okay. Raja Raja conquered half of Sri Lanka and the defeated King Mahinda V fled to the south to avoid being captured. Unable to defeat Raja Raja in the battlefield, King Mahinda sent a Buddhist woman from Sri Lanka who slowly got into the inner circle of Raja Raja. So they got into the circle. Mary Magdalene got it to do the same thing. But she fell in love with the breath of Christ. And she changed it and she found repentance. Christ knew it. Because that's what she was there to do. To deceive the man. And this has happened once. It happens to all of them. It says it right here in, in, our, in our Old Testament how many messiahs there are. <laughs> star David, Star Jacob, Star Bethlehem, that is shining right now too. Another one is called the Star Jacob, the one that's shining right now. And there will be more, and they're going to start getting really bright. As people start to see true repentance, I see another one that's getting bright. So I see two stars right now. That are bright. One's really bright. It comes up around four in the morning, and there's another one's bright. It's around one. It's getting brighter and brighter and brighter, and it, it kind of looks like it's over towards the San Diego area when it rises. For when this one rises, kind of like over, over like a 
or in the area a little bit. So then, okay. Awesome. When Radha Radha was standing on the 8th floor inspecting the progress of the big temple, she simply pushed him down. This fall killed him instantly. People claim this is why the temple was she not didn't push him down finished, and his son created a whole new capital in a different city because he thought that this was a cursed place. This story also explains why his son Rajendra Chola went after Sri Lanka with a vengeance okay. conquering the entire Right there island. represents Nibiru. King Mahinda Chola right there. After Sri Lanka yeah, with it's a stake. It's called the kingdom. The They're arguing over it. Then found King Mahinda V who was hiding. Can you know five? Oh, like the fifth As angel? Like the keys to the bottom of the fifth? Oh, like the fifth age? Mahinda V died in prison around 1029 A.D. 1029, huh? A thousand years even. Mm. Did I say it again? Every 1,000 years, the earth is tested. Okay, how do I know that? How do I know that? Because it says in the book of Revelations that every 1,000 years, Satan shall be released you cause trouble and testing on the earth. For if you're religious, every word of the Bible is true. For if you think that's not, you are not going to the kingdom of heaven. And that's fact. You have to know this book. Because you know why? Because when you're getting tested, you're not going to know what to do. And you're going to fail. And Satan's going to deceive you. And you're going to jump off that cliff thinking that the angels are going to capture you. Or jump off that pillar, I mean. When Jesus was tested for 40 years. And 40, I mean 40 days and 40 nights. Which are 40 years. And 40, which are 40 years. In the heavens. So it says Moses, he had a complete, at 40. The, sign, the time of testing is at age 30 for the male. As Jesus started at the age of 30, his mission. And, and I'm going through the testing as, as I tell you. I think I know everything. I, I look at it and he tells me. I ask and I shall receive. Because my faith is so strong. And I'm telling you now what the Bible says. And there will be a son of man. And there will be two witnesses. I am speaking just the, the, the witness. I am just speaking this right now. The word. And to show you symbols. For you think I just make these things up. I wish people would just try to argue with me or something. Instead of just saying, oh, you're crazy, or, wow, what, you know, compliments are very rare towards me, or, but I get rejected or whatever thing I go on, and I get deleted off of it, and it's just constant. But the only thing they haven't deleted yet is my Facebook. This is my second YouTube. My first YouTube, I had 70 videos, and no one even went on. I had maybe... 20, 30 views on, on, on some of my videos. It never went past like six, I mean, 40 or 50 views. Which was odd to me. And I'd share it constantly and no one would even click on it. It's impo it was impossible. It was like I was dreaming. I was like, how's that possible? You know what I mean? It isn't possible. It's not called testing you got you guys just keep making videos and keep making videos who cares if no one's listening who cares say I'm by myself I'll just keep making them because I know what you'll all know which some people will start to follow but, but you need to build up your temple you need to become one and you need to give up your seat and say this guy is better than I am this guy will Give me an answer one day. I'm going to follow him. Like Mark. The Gronks. I was just on YouTube one day. When I was 30. About a year ago. When I was 30. And uh, I saw this video in Nazca Lions. And it just blew my mind. It's like I just woke up. I was like what? It just woke me up. Just by looking at some of the lines on there. And what he was showing. I was like. 
Wait a minute here. I was like enlightened <laughs> in like 10 minutes. And the nature of this death remains but you need to have Jesus Christ as a teacher. I hope you like this video. I'm or you need to follow him because he is in front of you. The devil's in back here. Okay, here we go. We're in Iberia. Hey guys, this is right Bhagavad Temple in India, and I'm going to show you the kingdom again with the hands again. That ancient Indians were well connected to the rest of the world. It's the temple, this temple of God. Was built you have to become one. If you don't become AD, one, so it is just over a. But here, you can see and here's a European all the things that he did in his life. In temple. This is really surprising. It's not a European. He's called, he's called the man with the hat with the angels. The first European to reach South India. And you got an Iberia on the Adama left side. In 1498, but this temple was built five. See with the light on top of it. The star above the head. See the star above the head? Hint. One of the most important things of religion right here. For if you think you are holy and you are very, very holy, go back and look at your photos to see if there's any stars that are above your head. Hint. Go back and look at your old photos. Tell me if you see any stars above your head. If not, you're not holy. Look real carefully though. They're very dim. It may not be right above your head like that. It'll be summer, but there'll be stars all the time. You're like, why is there a star right there? Why is there a star right there all the time? Go back and look. As the disciples of Christ that will have them. The more holy you get, the more close your soul comes to you. Which everybody has a star. Every single person has a star. You need to bring your star close to you. Mine's right above my head. It's getting closer. And there's other, another one getting closer. And then another one. And, and then the book of Revelation says, So the star shall fall like the fig tree, like the fig branches. So y'all know what the fig tree represents. Being reborn. And the seed. Ever since Adam and Eve, dude, come on. They wrapped themselves in fig leaves. When they're caught, they're busted. in that white sap stuff. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Can't wrap yourself in little fig leaves. It is a parable that they can't tell you at church for you to figure out. So here's your head, here's your hair right here, here's your mouth, here's your eyes, here's your temple, but really you're right here. Here's your kingdom that God will grant you. And you'll be the king in your kingdom if you become one. But you need to conquer this stage first. For if you say that there is no God, there is no Christ, you will be locked up like a jar. As we are in the jar, as Mary Magdalene would carry a vase around that looked like a human, kind of like this, and there's an egg, and she had the pink egg. Look, in, look at her photos. And then she would always open it and take that egg off and then look inside of it every morning. And when she was out on the, in her backyard, she'd, she'd look inside of it on a bright, shiny day every morning. And then at night, she'd close it and repeat. Why was she looking inside that jar? Because her, uh, her love, one of her loved ones had to go down below. And she's just wondering when he was going to come back. Look at all her old pictures. She'll have, most of them she'll have a jar, like a, a human looking jar in her hand, like a temple kind of.
pottery jar in her hand. Which is, she would carry oil in it. And uh, she had uh, cleansed, uh, Jesus' feet with it. She loved Jesus. She loved him a lot. Jesus cleansed her and showed her a better way of life to, and not to listen to people and just, you know, listen to God and do what he, d do what he says, which is so easy. And that's the only way you can be free is to be like Mary, if you're a woman. To love your husband as, as he would love you. Because if a, if a man sees any kind of lying or anything, that's when it all goes downhill. A man starts being mean. But you show him love, and he will treat you like a queen. As the queen that you are. As Alice was a queen in Wonderland. But all she did was want, so she was definitely to continue. 100 years before his arrival does this carving really show a european to it's understand not a european this, dude let's take a look at this carving in the same There's temple Nibiru which in the shows testing right here. how ancient indians it's written everywhere the same thing dressed. but no one rushes, sees it as you see the star above her head nibiru this is not just one this is one of billions dude they're like this here's a tree of life here is the serpent that she's pulling on. See the snake head? Sitting right there. Here's also a phallic. The mushroom calf of perversion. And behind her, she was naked right here. As you can see, the star or the planet behind her, it has a mad looking face at it. This is not You can see how. I just don't need to show a million of them, but you could. Do it yourself. Now I'll show other ones. And see, look at, look at the plant. It's very unhealthy, unhappy. You see that it's all mad looking, the planet behind her. But she's happy. And she's naked too. He said it's hot, that's why she's naked. No, she's naked because she's doing the serpent. But look what's behind her while she's bending over. The beast. Of course, you can't see the beast right there. Everyone knows the beast is right there. Everyone knows. There's a tree of life. She, God told her not to. God saw it. He was pissed. Up above. And he's coming right now. And he's coming to judge. He's coming now. So get ready. Don't let perversion rule you. Because this guy will come. And it's coming now. Why? Because this place is filled with liars and perversion. And I'm sick of it, dude. I can't find a good girl out there anymore. I can't even watch TV anymore. It's a bunch of homos. Oh, dude, it's sick, dude. Everyone's just cheating on everyone lying. Oh, how do I know? Because all my... F I'm... Ah, I can't, I don't want to say, but everyone does it. I see it all the time. People tell me everything. Why do they tell me everything? Because they know that I can tr they can trust me because I never narc on them. I don't tell. I see it all the time. I used to, I used to drink in bars. I used to drink all the time. I'm not anymore after repentance. Because everything is moderation. Jesus said, do and take everything in moderation and you will be fine. But you have to believe in him because he's the one that's coming. And he's the only one that could let you in. You don't want to be around here when people are jumping off buildings when the spirit comes to them. Uh, M. Night Shyamalan. How does, how does he know that? Because he people read the glyphs on the walls, dude. But they're all around the world, the same things. This adds up after a while. <laughs> Egyptian, the Mayan, the Peruvian, they're all the same everywhere. Pyramids everywhere doing the same things. Kingdoms, cornerstones, whatever. Once you wake up and do your homework.